All right, here I am, but I don't see my video. There we go. Okay, so uh, I have a little tutorial on how to generate the SREC QSPY bootloader application that allows you to um, read in an S record file off the QSPY flash, the same flash you configure your FPGA from, uh, into SDRAM and jump to that and execute it. That's done through a bootloader application that's auto-generated by Vitus on your behalf. Uh, this all runs on a FPGA that has a microblaze set up with some uh, internal RAM to run the bootloader as well as some SD RAM uh, to, to run the application. So we'll get into how to generate the block design for this in a separate video. But for now, we will assume we've had this project, uh, compiled it, and we've generated an XSA from this project that we're going to start using. Okay, we're back, uh, ready to generate the uh, Vitus projects. So to work with Vitus, I create a folder named Vitus underneath my project hierarchy here. Into that folder, I have the XSA generated by Bovado, along with a few tickle scripts I carry along with me help streamline the process so I don't have to manually type in these uh, rather long commands. So let's go ahead and fire up Vitus. I'm using Vitus 2022.1. Browse to the project folder. Launch Vitus. And we'll create an application project. We maximize this. So we're going to create a new platform from the XSA file. I'll go ahead and browse to that. Projects, RD, RDS 7. Vitus, and there it is. I'm going to name this platform RDS7 underscore platform. This will help me because that's the name I use in the scripts that are already generated. Next application project name. We're going to name this RDS7 app. Next, we'll stick with the standalone domain for the microblaze, otherwise known as bare metal. And we'll go ahead and generate the Hello World app. And done. So now we have our platform. We have our Hello World app. Let's go ahead and generate our BitLoader app. File, New, Application Project. We'll select the same platform that was used to generate the Hello World app, the RDS7 platform. This is, we'll give this a uh, name RDS7 bootloader. We'll stick with standalone and we'll select the SREC SPY bootloader application. Okay. So now we have our Hello World app, our bootloader app, and our platform. Let's have a look at what we've got. The Hello World app simply prints Hello World to the console. The console in this case is an Axilite UART. 
which has been set up using a Axie UART light module inside the block design uh, map to a PMOD UART, um, what am I thinking? USB UART module uh, that I've connect, got connected to uh, the PMOD A. Go into our BSP settings. Have a look at standalone. You can see that standard in and standard out are both mapped to Axie UART light. All right, let's have a look at our board support package, or sorry, our bootloader. The bootloader application has a configurable or define that we need to set up. This defines the address of the S record file located in the QSPY flash. And what I like to use is one followed by five zeros. You'll see this in one of the scripts, the script that's used to generate the MCS file. I'll go ahead and save that change. And the platform contains the bit file and the memory map interface file that's used by the tool to map the bootloader application code into the RAM uh, internal to the FPGA. Let's go ahead and build the Hello World application. Right mouse click on debug and build. It's done. Right mouse click on debug and build to build the bootloader application and done all right so at this point we have everything we need to generate the qspy flash image used to program the uh, qspy on the arty board let's have a look at how we do that i have a set of four scripts uh, one script is used to generate an s record file from the Hello World application elf. MG object copy is a utility built into the Vitus software. The next update mem is used to combine the bit file generated by Vivado and the bootloader elf into a new bit file with that name. Following that, we combine the new bit file with the S record file into an MCS file that's used to program the QSPY flash. And here you'll see that one followed by five zeros, which is the address of the S record file internal to the QSPY flash. And finally, we program the QSPY flash. Um, in this case, it's a by four or quad QSPY programmed with the MCS file. So these four scripts, two of them run in Vitus and two of them run in Vivado. So let's start with running with S record script in Vitus. I'll go ahead and copy this line. This will allow us to change directory used by XSCT. I'll go ahead and open up the XSCT console. Look at the working directory you can see it's mapped to uh, a default set up by Vitus or by the Xilinx tools I'll go ahead and change that to the folder in which uh, these scripts are located and then I'll go ahead and source the script to generate the s record file 
There we go. And done. Let's have a look at what happened there. So the S record files just been generated. That was once again generated from the ELF of the Hello World application. Next, let's go ahead and merge the bit file with the bootloader ELF. Here we go. Copy that command. Paste that into the XSCT command line. Give that a little time to run. And done. Let's see what happened here. We should have a new bit file. There it is. RDS 725 bootload.bit was just generated. The combination of the bit file from Lovato and the ELF from the bootloader application. All right, that completes the scripts that we can run in Vitus. I'm going to pause here and we'll move to Vivada for the remainder of the tutorial. Okay, I've got Vivada open. I've changed the directory to the Vitus folder that contains the scripts we're running. And the first script I'm going to run is to generate the MCS file, the file used to program the QSpy flash. So here we go. Copy that command, paste it in, let that run, and there we go. MCS file has been generated, and there it is. The next thing we'll do is uh, program that flash with the MCS file. My program flash script, I'll copy the... Uh, command that sources this script, kick that off. There we go. This is going to take a little while, so we'll tune in in a bit. Programming is done, complete. Uh, so our QSpy flash on our already board is, uh, has been programmed. Here's the board. I've got it plugged into power and I've disconnected JTAG. So we're ready to go. Uh, set up TerraTerm here, uh, baud ray 115.200. I'm going to hit the reprogram button, and there we go. Hello, world. Tutorial complete.